Story World TV here with Brendan Hansen at the Eastern's Coaches Clinic. First time here in a more of a speaker capacity. Now you had your first talk earlier today that was motivating swimmers to swim fast and practice with focus. What happened during that first talk? Uh, it was an opportunity for me to kind of talk to them from the athlete standpoint and then also now that I'm a club coach, the club coaching standpoint. And so I'm just trying to bridge gaps of what I was, uh, I benefited so much from as, a, as an athlete um, with the consistency of the coaches that I had and how they made it fun and kept me in the sport for as long as I was in it. I was in it for 31 years. Um, and then also uh, from the, what I'm dealing with now, the challenges and expectations I have for my club program and um, the things that I'm working on with them. And so I felt like like uh, it was a great talk about um, how to stay consistent as a club coach, how to make it fun for the younger kids, how to get the most out of your eight and unders, and then also like just what expectations that you want out of a kid that's going into you know their senior year of high school, how to keep them focused every day in practice, you know. And it, it really goes back to what we talked about at the long lost start of goal setting, and um, and just the things that that were building blocks in my career as an athlete, and now just what I seem to be falling back on as a coach. Okay, so how do you keep swimmers focused when they're starting to feel the pain that the sport can bring on? I think uh, the, the, the hardest lesson that a swimmer learns is, a, is accountability. You know, you're accountable for your actions. You're the only one on the swimming blocks. The clock never lies. And so you have to learn that. And so goal setting is so important in the fact that you need to have those goals. You need to have that opportunity to show a kid, hey, this is what you wrote down on a piece of paper. This is what you said you were going to do. Now it's your job to do it. I'm, as a coach, going to help you get to that level. But this is your decision. This is your goal. This is not mine. And it's you make that change. It seems like a lot of coaches are really focusing on how to keep things fun. Todd Schmidt said he likes to do throw the goggles on the line before every every practice. What types of things do you do to, to keep things fun, whether it's sets or yeah. pre-workout stuff? So really the reason that you hook line and sinker this kid into swimming in the first play was competition so one of the things that I bring out a lot is competition I bring out different fun competitions for the kids to do we play four square before practice we played six square as a, as a team for the University of Texas I mean it was just things like that that kept you engaged in what you were about to go do it for practice and so that competition just reiterates why you love swimming and why you love what you're doing your talk tomorrow is about what what athletes need from their coaches what do you find are the most important things that these athletes need that they're not getting from coaches? I think the number one thing that a coach has to give a swimmer is support. You have got to have that support. A kid has to know that whether they win or lose, it doesn't matter when they go back to the coach. The coach's number one goal is the athlete and make them better. And if you ever lose that as a coach and it ever becomes about me as a coach or them as a coach, then we've lost the fact of why we became a coach in the first place, which was the kids. And so you always have to focus on my number one goal is to make this kid a better kid for him and when you do that you see the success of that kid come out and it and, it, and it, they benefit from it so from that standpoint I think uh, a coach is always trying to make their kid better and what the kid knows they need to have is they need to know that they have that support because they may not get it at home or their peers or at school but for those two hours that they're at practice every day they know without a doubt that that coach is looking out for their best interest so if these coaches in attendance had one nugget to walk away from at this clinic, what would it be? That you have to be consistent. To get the, the benefit of the kids and get the most out of those kids, you have to be the same person every single day of practice. Because that consistency is what those kids are drawn to. It's how they learn, it's how they get better. I mean, every educational tool that we have shows some level of consistency. And you have to be coming to practice every day, somewhat organized, knowing what they do, because if you don't, they will eat you alive and you don't want to do that and you're going to take two steps back before you make any leaps forward. So if you're consistent every day, no matter what level you, of intensity you bring to practice, if you bring it every single day, the kids thrive on that, that consistency. So speaking of getting eaten alive, you are fresh to the parenting <laughs> world. Your one year, almost one-year-old yes. daughter. Yes. How's, yes. how's the last So I look going? good for a little sleep, right? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, we had a daughter uh, 10 months ago. And um, talk about... Uh, stopping swimming in one challenge and moving on to another challenge it's been uh, crazy and so much fun and I've learned a lot I think I've learned a lot about why my swim parents are as crazy as they are because now being a parent I understand you always want what's best for your kid and so I can I can understand where parents come from now whereas 10 months ago I think I thought all parents were wacky and crazy and now I, I totally totally get it okay so for all the swimmers out there that are getting ready to enter this phase of their life what's your advice for them 
always, I think my advice for kids that are going into this part of their life where they're, they know they, swimming is what they want to do and they want to be successful, always go to practice every single day knowing exactly what you want to do the focus of what you're trying to accomplish that day because that focus is what you thrive on throughout your whole meet because you're going to train for 8 to 12 months for a race that's you know sometimes less than a minute so that focus that you bring to practice every day is what's going to make you successful all right brendan thank you we'll yeah you see bet you. we'll see you